Originally, we had a very basic ergonomic module. It did the body mapping that you see here, but it didn't go into the level of detail that you now see over here on the right. And what happened was several of our major clients came to us and said they liked this, but they wanted some more detail to accommodate their needs of the safety people. So what we did was enhanced our module by making this all user definable in the Excel template that we're going to talk about now. If I move this over here to the right, I can bring up the template which I have in the background here. I want to show you the various parts of the template here. And here's the column A is the Timer Pro body member. And that's what you see here, the, the neck, the shoulders, everything that's been shaded here, that's our body members. And what we found was that people were naming these different things. So if you look down here, I've got my Timer Pro body member and I scroll down here. So here, head and neck is just the neck. But our left shoulder and the right shoulder, people called them shoulders. In other words, those were combined uh, just to be the shoulder. Right, and then down here you can see I've got the back and the lower back, that was mobility of trunk. So what we're doing here between column A and column C, we're letting you name the group and group different body members into your terms. So over here if I scroll down here, the body force that affects the right shoulder, the left shoulder, the right elbow and the left elbow. You can select any of these any way that you want here. Down here you can see I've got the left hand and the right hand, that's hand and finger force. The options you see documented in column C are actually what appears here. So here's the neck, and you see the neck here, here's the shoulder, here's the shoulder, here's mobility of trunk. So you can put it in whatever sequence you want here. Here's the body force, the body force is right here. And keeping on going down, you can see I've got my uh, hand and finger force right here. A little bit further down here, we're going to have the... Uh, the standing, walking, sitting and kneeling. So whatever you put in this column C is going to appear in this list over here. And the final one here, of course, is going to be relocating of loads here. So what we're doing here between A and C, we are associating particular Timer Pro body members. In other words, the shaded areas in the body map here, with particular terms that you might use. So that's column A and C. Now, the only exception to that is up at the top, the standard group here, the one that you see right here. This was our original format. And people liked it because it shades in the body very nicely, as you can see here. Uh, so here we just made that flexible too. Standard group is a default. That's always going to be at the first level so that you can do this. So leave this alone. The type, you can see type over here. And underneath that, you see lifting, force, posture. And you can see those items down here. And then down here, you see the percent. And then you see the percents down here. They're appearing over here. So what we have here is essentially a, a drill down. The standard group is the first level. If you go there, you're going to get the type. Under the type, you have these options. Under the percent, you have these options. So that's how you use column D and E. It's added on from column C. If I scroll down, you can see in this particular case, the neck is the next area here. Now for the neck over here, you can see we get these options over here. Flex forward, flex backward, and so forth. You can put whatever you want. So in this case, there's only one level. It goes from here down to here. Now, if we look at the shoulder, the next one down here, this is more complicated. You've got a level here, and then you get the next level down here. So I click on the shoulder over here. I bring it back up so you can see it. So here you see level one. So whatever's in column D becomes the next level down. And then down here, we can flex and shoulder joint greater than 60 degrees. You can see that right here. And the same down here for the level two. So what you're doing here is you're creating a drill down effect. Here's the mobility of trunk. So if I select it over here and bring it back up again, here's the medium trunk, dynamic or static. Now you can see at the bottom here, we've actually got other choices. And if I go a couple of columns to the right, you come over here to a column H and that's where you can tell it the behavior of these items. So you can see I've actually got a complete drill down here. So here's the standard group, the type, the lifting. That is a checkbox. Now you'll notice as I do this in column H, there's a drop down appears here. And these are all different kinds of behavior you can have here depending on what you're looking to do here. So I make this bigger so you can see it. Let me go to 100% here and just click on the drop down. So you can see you can have an option. You can input an alpha, input an alphanumeric, input an integer. Input a decimal, input a percent of 100, or input a document. This is actually pointing to a picture that you can put in place here. So these are the different options you have here. So what you can see is we've basically got a structure going on here. Uh, column A is our original Timer Pro body members. We're then associating it, if you come down here to a good example here, 
So the back and the lower back has been associated with the mobility of trunk in this example. Here's the medium trunk, and here are two different options, dynamic and static, dynamic and static. And then out to the right here in column H, these are options here. These are checkboxes. You can go down and see what else we have here. Input integer. You can see it's a frequency being asked for here, so the input an integer value. Uh, here's a force, a measured force, and you can see that's an input integer too. And this column I, that's a minimum value. I've actually got a minimum value and a maximum value. And we've even got a supporting document. So there's all these different options out here to the right that you can use to define your structure here. So we're going to go through these in a little more detail. But uh, if I make it a little smaller here, let's go back to the zoom, make it 75% so you can see better what we've got here. So we essentially have a template in which you organize the data that you wish to be presented with back over here in the timer pro area to make the selections to identify your ergonomic stresses in your process.